What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you a very simple technique on how to sketch a flamingo. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching an oval in the center of our page for the body. We're gonna start from the very top. It's gonna lightly work our way around the left side and bring that in towards the bottom of our oval. Go all the way across and up on the right side. Now with our oval in place, we're gonna draw the neck on the right side. Let's start from the right side of our oval, come around, round out the bottom of the neck. I'm just gonna pull that back in. Let's curve the neck going all the way around and then up and out towards the top. Let's sketch a circle along the top of the head, going all the way around. I'm going to trace the same curve on the right side for the front of the neck, going all the way around and then down towards the bottom. Now the neck's going to get thicker as we come back up and in underneath the body. Let's go back to the center of the head and draw a small circle for the eye. From the bottom of the eye, draw a straight line coming down. And then from the right side, draw a straight line going out towards the right side. Now from the right side, we're gonna draw a straight angle line coming down across the top of the beak. Let's curve the bottom half of the beak coming down and in. Now we're gonna connect the bottom of the head to the bottom tip of the beak with a curve going out and in. Let's separate the tip of the beak with an angled line. Now we go back to the center of the body along the bottom, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom of our page. And this is for the front leg. And we'll draw a straight line across the bottom. Let's go halfway along the length of the leg, right in the middle, draw a small circle. Let's bend the back leg, starting from the very top, Angle this down and back towards the left. Draw that same size circle. And then from the center of that circle, angle this down and back in. And we'll draw that same line across the bottom of the leg. Let's go to the back and add the tail. Starting from the top left of our oval, it's gonna angle this down and out. And then pull that straight in behind the body. I'm gonna add some guidelines inside the body for the wings. Let's start from the bottom left, curve this up and across towards the top right. And from the top, we'll step back, curve this up and out towards the top left. Once we have the basic sketch of our drawing, we're gonna go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details around the eye. Let's start by tracing out that small circle. small dot in the center and fill that in. I'm just going to add some trim around the front of the head. It's coming down and out. Bend the bottom line coming down towards the bottom of the beak. Now we're just adding some shape by tracing out the contour on the outside. Add a bend to that line. and we'll darken up the tip of the beak. Just adding the edge of the mouth coming up and in. And we're just going to shade the top of the beak coming in towards the head. And we'll just fade that out. Now just working our way around the perimeter of the head, adding a slight fur detail and texture along the outside. Just using these short, choppy lines.
just gonna create a little bit of an overlap along the top of the body and just work our way across this line. Just pulling those feathers in. to the side edge of our pencil and add some texture for the wings. Going across, just following that line. Just pulling this up and in with a series of little overlaps. And then we'll just continue across the back towards the tail. Just tracing the outside of the leg coming down towards this joint. I'm just going to round this out along the side, just bumping it out, just adding some thickness, and then bringing that back in towards the bottom. I'm just going to shade in the bottom. And just work that water around the ankles. Just extending this out and fading it towards the side. Let's go back and lightly shade in the legs. And then we'll darken up the top and fade that down. adding a little bit of shade around that joint. Now going back to the side of our pencil, I'm just going to add some feather texture along the inside of the body. Starting along the bottom, just curving this up towards the back. We can also use the tip of our pencil to refine that detail. And we can go back and add light, even shade to the rest of the body. Add a shadow across the bottom of the body, going around the base of the leg, and then just blending that up. And going across the base of the neck. Also adding that shadow across the top, just underneath the head. And just fading that out as you come forward. And once we have the shading in place, go back and just add some more feather texture on the inside.
Now as we get near the end, we're gonna add some water ripples and refine our contrast, and always be sure to sign our artwork, and that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a flamingo. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I wanna thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.